big day for you. Do you think you're ready for this or what? Well, you know, it, uh, I don't think it's going to sink in until uh, somewhere into July 1st of next year or, or maybe even later uh, as things begin to unfold in my new roles. A lot's gone on for you since you've been in this position. What do you think you'll be remembered for the most? Oh, my goodness. Well, you know, uh, Joe, I, I, I think that obviously the thing that has been most visible to everyone is the physical transformation of the campus. 22 new buildings, 18 major additions and renovations, you know, 34 acres of new green space, uh, many closed streets, uh, you know, countless new plantings and walkways and terraces and plazas. But although that signals a lot of what we did, the underlying transformation of, of the academic programs, the additions, the focus, the lifting of the excellence of the university in so many areas that were here but had been under-celebrated, uh, I hope will be the things that will be most remembered. And, and ultimately, the other thing that we're very, very proud of is how much of our documentable excellence comes from the success of our students, their bar passage rates, their licensure exams, the, the fact that our engineering students have won more awards than any other single university anywhere, and more awards than all other Ohio universities combined. All of those things, I think, the university deserves recognition for. You've made steps in the businesses stuff, and I think one of the more recent ones is Akron Schools trying to keep the top kids here. Yes, that, that's been a wonderful partnership with the Akron Public Schools, the Innovation Generation Scholarship, and I, I thank uh, Superintendent James because uh, it's really he that led that effort on, on behalf of the citizens of Akron so that we, we have a clear signal to the students that if they'll perform well in school, they'll be able to go to school for free. What, what, what advice would you give to your successor when they step into the office? Well, you know, that's really more for my board to say. <laughs> the way that I've thought about it is that uh, the, the new person ought to be someone who has the, the capacity and, and the, the energy to drive the university to its next level of excellence. When you look at the university and the city, I think you've also made pretty strong connections to the city expanding over the tracks and all that stuff. What do you think you've done for the city of Akron? Well, you know, uh, I think the investments we made and the growth in the university's recognition has catalyzed a tremendous amount of investment in the community. The University Park Alliance has now seen over $300 million of investment in the area. Uh, there's been, of course, our investment, over $650 million. There's been the investment by our hospital partners. Uh, and, and, and by the private sector uh, that has voted, uh, you know, unanimously to champion the success of our growth by building many, many, many attractive places for our older students, our, you know, sophomores and juniors and seniors to, to live. And several of those, as you know, occurred in, in downtown. You know, Exchange Street and Main Street have been transformed. There's new, new businesses and, and, and all of these brand new buildings that uh, signal a, a total resurgence. And the other thing that's very exciting, I think, is that all of a sudden it's clear that downtown isn't simply, you know, a market to exchange and Main to Broadway. Downtown is a much larger footprint that includes the university, that includes the hospitals. It's, it's a much more vibrant, total community. You've also got the school on a path to make a name for themselves in sports. You've got the new stadium. You've got national championship soccer team. Well, that's, that's probably not necessarily your top thing, but it is something that sells the school. Well, it, it has been something that has been very much on our, our priority list. And it, it's quite simply because so many of our citizens see us through the eyes of sports. And so it's vital that we have success. And of course, our soccer team led us to that national championship. Keith Dambrod has been doing a tremendous uh, uh, job. Our track and field uh, uh, team, uh, you know, is, they've won countless Mid-American championship uh, thanks to our coach. And, and, you know, Dennis Mitchell has done a tremendous job there. Jody Cast, and uh, of course now we're, we're looking for good things from, from Terry, uh, Terry Bowden. And uh, uh, I hope that'll succeed to, you know, begin to bring out uh, the crowds that our new stadium deserves. Uh, but yes, that's been a great uh, opportunity, and, and I've, we've laid the groundwork for that success to continue. And one more thing, 
what are you going to do after you retire? They said you're going to be a faculty member? Well, that's not retirement, and that's a very important <laughs> distinction. I don't, I, I don't think I can retire for several reasons. Number one, I, I want to remain engaged, and, and number two, I can't afford to. <laughs> so I'm excited to, uh, I'm particularly delighted and so thankful to the Board of Trustees who thought to create this chair, um, ultimately in my honor, but, but initially for me to be able to focus on the role of higher education, the role of universities in the economy and economic development and creating new economic opportunity. Anything you want to add before I let you go? Thank you for 15 years of good coverage. <laughs>